tryna conquer the world. I made it through the storm, tryna conquer the world. Coming from where I come from, they doubted me, but I came up. I made it through the storm, tryna conquer the world. I made it through the storm, tryna conquer the world. Good reporting as Mickey. We love you, Mickey. What's up, what's up? It's your girl, Mickey Truth, a.k.a. Mickey Facts. And I'm back with another video. So, you guys already know the rundown. Everything in this video is for entertainment purposes only. All information is being used with the Fair Use Act. And any conclusions that you draw in this video or from this video is on you, not me. So, let's get into it. Now, if you haven't already caught my interview with Alonzo Butler, a.k.a. Zoe, a.k.a. the promoter for the Finesse Two-Time event in Knoxville, Tennessee, definitely go check it out. He gives you his um side of the situation with Finesse Two-Times. Also, if you weren't able to catch my live, definitely run that back. We actually break down a lot of things. Now, for the purpose of this video, though, I'm going to stick to the questions that were asked to me and my truth team in regards to the situation. And I'll let you know if we're able to answer it. All right. So let's get into it. So let's get into the questions. So the first question we have is, was there beef between the two counts prior to the scuffle or shooting? According to my research, and this includes me looking on social media, me speaking with, with Alonzo Butler, me watching Finesse two times um, live, I don't, in my opinion, see that there was a previous beef. Now, what is being said is that allegedly Finesse two times were was aggravated or agitated when he first arrived at the venue. Now... I don't know if this is true because, again, I haven't been able to talk to anyone on Finesse's side um, in regards to it. But I will say, based on the performance, whatever he had going on, he definitely was in his zone performing because the parts of the performance itself, I was rocking out watching it. And even in my interview with Alonzo Butler, um, he stated that the show was good. So I'm going to go with no on that. Again, this is in my opinion, just based off my research, okay? The next question is, was a word there, no, is it where it was? Was. <laughs> was there a contract? All right. Now, again, this is only, um, the only way I can confirm anything about the contract is from my interview with Alonzo Butler, okay? So, I have not, again, spoken with nobody on the other side to find out if this is true, but according to my interview with Alonzo Butler, there was a verbal agreement. And with the verbal agreement, I don't know if that just means like call up the phone. I don't know. Part of me feel like it had to be like some actual paperwork involved, you know? Because I'm going to be honest with y'all. When I think of Finesse Two Time, I think of like a, a, like a really a popping star. You know what I'm saying? I don't see him as like no little like local celebrity you know what i'm saying i really feel like he's on a national level so i would think at this point in his career he's definitely doing some type of um actual contracts but i could be wrong again i'm only going off of what i was able to verify so number three is what were the terms of the contract now based on what i was told in the interview it was a verbal agreement finesse two times in his camp had to pay a deposit the smoke shop owners paid for the tent and finesse two times was supposed to reimburse them for that okay that's what i got out of the interview with alonzo butler if you watch finesse two times live he stated that he was only supposed to pay 10 percent to the smoke shop because it was his event and he rented the place out and that was confirmed with Alonzo Butler also, okay? So, those are the only parts of the contract, allegedly, right, that we can confirm. Now, I will put out there, like I said in, live, in the live, you know, I was in the comments on Facebook. And because it was a lot of stuff going on on Facebook in regards to the allegations and the versions of events, okay? In on Facebook... I put under a post that I believe may be the daughter of the owner um, based off the wording that she used. However, I can't confirm that. 
And it just says, this is my question. According to Finesse, he owes y'all 10% of the total because it was his event. So did they rob y'all or just haven't paid the 10%? Somebody by the name of Tommy Willis, right? And I have looked into him and I believe he is the DJ for Finesse two times. Um, DJ exclusive to be his ad. He replied and said, they been paid. They kept the money for 114 VIP tickets and 50 general admission that they couldn't provide the money for. Okay. And I asked him to clarify if he was referring to, because at the time, like I said, I didn't know who he was. Um, was it the shop or was it finesse two times camp? He said the shop. Okay. He then came back. Um, well, I said, okay, thanks for the clarification. Now, Joseph Manny, Manny, who is the owner of the smoke shop, uh, replied to my thread for my comment and said, Tommy Willis, bruh, please stop with the BS. You know what? Fuck all that is slang. My bad, y'all. Say what you want. When he don't have the bag, then you'll jump off his little eggplant emoji. Show was real nice face to face though. Then Tommy Willis replied, Stop the cap, Sleepy Joe. We got everything in the group chat. This shit is just bad business on your party. You been capped out since I started helping Queasy with this event. Now, I did reach out to Tommy Willis in regards to see if he can, you know, pull up on me. Let's talk about it. Um, I haven't heard back yet, so I'm not sure if he's able to talk about it because as y'all heard, and not only my interview with Alonzo Butler, but also with the victim, Antonio, I forgot what he said his last name is. There, um, Well, let me rephrase that because Alonzo didn't say nothing about suing. He just said he would like to be paid. The owners of the club is definitely threatening to sue. And Antonio and allegedly the other two victims, the two females, are planning on suing um, for next two times. So, I don't know if they can talk about it. But, nevertheless, hey, if he reaches out to me and pull up, I'll definitely let y'all know. Alright? So, <clears throat> I did ask Alonzo Butler, matter of fact, and y'all excuse me. I woke up this morning with a little scratchy, scratchiness, like soreness in my throat. But back to the business. So I did ask in regards to the ticket sales or the um, VIP that DJ Exclusive referenced in on Facebook. And he stated that, well, he sold over, what, 6,000 in tickets or something. So I don't know what the ins and outs of that is. So I'm just going to say for now, those are the terms that I can kind of put together for you guys okay now the next question is how much was finesse supposed to get now again i can't really tell you an amount right i can only go off of if it's a hundred percent overall of the total right and finesse is stating ten percent was supposed to go back to the smoke shop then i'm going to assume 90 percent or whatever the money was <laughs> was definitely belong to finesse and his people you know, that's the only way I can word that. All right. Now, before we get into the shooting, let me clarify this. I did ask directly to um Zoe, aka Alonzo Butler, was a uh, was the shooting and the robbery, alleged robbery, the same? Because everybody is reporting it as one. Or was there two separate events? According to Alonzo, okay. He stated that the shooting occurred first. When the shots went off, basically, um, Finesse's camp took all the money, bagged it, and left. Okay? Now, y'all already know I'm going to get my opinion on how I feel about it. Now, my thing, and me and Alonzo had to agree. Okay? Not even, I don't know how old Finesse's mom is. However, even me at my age, if I hear gunshots... I'm getting the hell out of there. I'm not sticking around to find out what's what. I don't know. Especially in the city. I don't even. I'm not even from here. Now I'm getting on through. And to be honest, if you're working the front door where the money is, you hear shots coming from somewhere. How you know it's not a robbery in place? So hell yeah, you get, get what you can and you get on through, right? I mean, that's just my opinion. So what I can say about that is, according to... Alonzo's interview, according to Finesse's interview, 
for the last two times, people definitely had a right to be at the door. And they were working the event. Now, this is where it kind of get, okay, a little great. According to Alonzo, the agreement was for not only for Nest two times people to work the door, but also the smoke shop to work the door. To, I guess, in my opinion, to hold each other accountable for what the final tally is um, for the money, okay? Now, this is where y'all already know your girl don't do conspiracies unless you can give me proof, okay? So, all I can say is according to the smoke shop side, they feel like Finesse two time in his camp plan everything to pop off the way it did to run off with the money. Okay. So I believe that's where the title robbery came in, right? Now yeah, I'm gonna just be real with y'all. Y'all already know. This is a side note. This is definitely just my opinion based on all the information that I have been gathering. And y'all already know your girl gonna definitely look into it, okay? What I'm feeling is based on what I'm seeing on the video okay no different than when we was watching a couple months ago the videos from takeoff everybody's going to interpret it differently it's different angles different videos what i'm looking at as far as the performance now because we don't really know about what's going on around the money at this point about the performance okay i do see you know it's rocking it's rocking i do see that red hoodie though that arm up he rocking. You know what I'm saying? And this was before Finesse got off the stage. He rocking. He rocking. And then Finesse decides to get off the stage. Now, okay? Finesse is sitting down. In my opinion, right? Dude in the red did get close as hell to Finesse two times, okay? Now, from what I'm seeing on the video, he was possibly in my opinion getting into an argument or some words with somebody to the left of finesse okay so in my opinion what i saw and y'all let me know y'all already know let me know in the chat what y'all think i feel like finesse was sitting down dude in the red was right next so the dude in the red aka the shop owner aka joseph manning was next to finesse two times he was turned to his love having some words with somebody right in the midst of him having some words, he moved closer because I kind of see his elbow go a little too much to finesse. Now, this is where I'm like, all right, it definitely could have been a, dis a misunderstanding, but but we have to take into account because finesse has been five years in jail, okay? He is at a crunk party, right? People is moving funny. He's sitting down. He kind of like a sitting duck in so many words, right? So, when I first saw the video, I said, okay, I can see how that can make you like, what the fuck? Jump up. Now, this is without having any idea of what's really going on in real life right there, right? This is just my interpretation of the video. So, according to Alonzo, he stated that basically... The owner was trying to walk away and did get into some words with somebody in Finesse's camp. He was not trying to do anything to Finesse two times, okay? All right, I get it. But we all know you in a club, it's packed, you chilling, you done been drinking. Oh, you ain't even got to have been drinking. You just there. And then somebody is people moving all around you, then all of a sudden, <laughs> Somebody tap you or whatever. You got to, because be honest, he's sitting there for next two times, sitting there while that jury, you know, that's the thing in the rap game. People want to snatch a jury. So, I mean, I, I ain't going to knock on, but like kind of reacting just based off of that. Okay. Now, not saying that it was a reason for everything else to take place. All I'm saying is. I can understand because finesse two times actually went live and broke it down. Like, yo, I only have my people around me, so when somebody else is around, it's like, the fuck is you doing around here? And I can get that. Because, look, I ain't even no rapper. I don't do no shows. But I don't like people standing over me, like, over my show. That irritates me. And I'm talking about even my husband. Like, I be ready, like, yo, what, what's up? <laughs> like, why are you over me? So, I can definitely understand feeling that way. But, again, it's still no reason for everything to transpire, okay? Now, with that being said, though... 
Um, that transpired. Now, uh, how can... Oh, y'all, I guess I can get how everybody else kind of jumped in it because I ain't gonna lie. I was brought up, yo, you see something popping off of one of your people, you got to be on go. Now, of course, I don't get into stuff like that now. You know, that's why I say out the way. But I can see, I'm not sure if the dude in the yellow was his brother or just a, a person, but he definitely was on go. Okay, he definitely was on go. Which, I mean, do you? You're there with them. So, now, <clears throat> I mean, like I said, it, I get it, right? Now, everything else is just a little gray as far as where the shots were coming from. In my opinion, like I stated in the interview, to me, it sounded like the shots. Because it's a video of the security officer actually getting hit and going down. It seemed like the shots was coming from the opposite end. What I can say based on the video, shoot, the dude in the yellow was definitely not the one shooting because you see him trying to get away. Um, Finesse two times stated that he went under the stage. You know, from the start of the whole commotion, they definitely got him out of the way, which they should have did anyway. Um, so I'm just, I don't know, <laughs> you know, as far as the actual shooting itself. Now, one of the questions that were at, was asked was, who were the shooters? Well, according to the news, um, based off police report, two people were, um, put as suspects in the shooting. Okay. And one of those people have been, um, arrested or apprehended. And that's Gino Minkins, who is 20 years old. Then also, it's another guy they're looking for, Jackie Nettleville, who is 22. Now, Nettleville has not been apprehended. I did clearly and just blankly ask Alonzo if he knew of these two people from his area. He stated no, that one was from, um, what, Georgia, Florida, and the other one was from, like, Mississippi or somewhere. Um, so, I, all I can say is one side is definitely not claiming that they're part of their entourage. I don't know if they're part of Finesse's entourage. We did look these two individuals up, me and my troop team. We were unable to cross any dots with them. So, that's going to have to get a pin in it because... We don't know who they belong to, right? But they have been identified as being a part of this incident. The next question was, how many people got shot? So, according to Alonzo, three people was, were shot. According to the news, three people were shot. Alonzo stated it was one male, which was the security guard named Antonio, and two females, okay? Now... When you listen to Antonio, which is a security guard who got shot, interview with Hood Educated, he stated it was like five people, okay? Now, he's the only one that stated that, so that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, Just based on our research, it was only three. Um, The next question said, why did they start shooting? I don't know. And I asked that in my interview because I'm like, how do we go from a scuffle to a shooting? No one knows the answer. Of course, no side is taking accountability for the shooting. So, you know. Now, the next question was, was it just finesse team shooting? Okay. So, I'm going to tell y'all this. And this is how I'm just going to be real and, and worded. According to the smoke shop side of things, they are stating that finesse two times people shot. Okay. Finesse himself on his live refused or would not talk about the shooting itself. He said, get me a lawyer. Okay? He don't know nothing about it. Now, again, I will say he was not actively involved in it because he was under the stage trying to get out. So, I'm going to say we do not, we cannot confirm who was shooting. Okay? Now, what we can, it is a discrepancy out there. And that is, when I spoke with Alonzo, he informed me that not only did a shooting take place uh, where people in the inside were, were shot, they were shooting outside, okay? And according to Alonzo, allegedly, um, somebody with Finesse's entourage shot twice, then the other shots came from somebody else, okay? 
Now, Antonio, the shooting victim, stated that only finesse people shot. Okay? Only. So, that's already a discrepancy. So, you know, like, well, you know, who was shooting outside? Are you aware that it was a shooting outside? You know, to me, when I watched Antonio's interview, it was like, you know a lot for it to be so much chaos, right? Because in every, almost every angle, he was definitely, like, scrapping. He was part of the scuffle. How do you know exactly what was what? I feel like... Some of his stuff he may have remembered, but I feel like it's more so third-party information, in my opinion, you know? Um, Because I just don't see how you're, like, fighting two, three dudes at a time with your head now. Because in one angle, you do see his head now. How do you know what's going on with your surroundings, okay? Just my opinion. Now, another thing with the Antonio interview that I just got to mention it because y'all already know it wouldn't be making truth if I don't mention it. He clearly stated he has a lawyer. He's going to be seeking um a lawsuit. He's going to sue for this. Okay. Now he did get shot. We obviously see he got shot. Okay. So, I mean, is it far fetched that he's going to be suing? No, come on. When you in that type of situation, you already know <laughs> people going to try going to sue you. I mean, I'm just saying, but this is where I'm kind of looking at him sideways, the Antonio. Because he's like, yeah, I'm going to sue. But then in the same breath, when asked about corroborating with the police, is like, no, I'm a real nigga. Police got to do their job. I ain't about to help them out. Ho, 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 bruh, bruh, what? That's where I was like, what the fuck is going on? To be honest, because I'm like, you, you, you're doing an interview, okay? And you're just not answering just basic questions about you. You're talking about the situation. So basically, you done did a corroboration, a corroborated interview on YouTube. Just to be real, if y'all think back to the whole zero situation in Texas, he did a interview with the news, you know, and then turn around what he did, did a statement with the police. <laughs> so again. You did an interview. We don't know if you're a real, a real dude, street dude. We don't know nothing about you. Why was that added? Because now everything you said prior to you saying you a real dude, you a real street nigga, you ain't about to be helping the police. Now I'm taking everything with a grain of salt. Because, like, really? So this is just about the check. Because to be honest, a real victim, in my eyes, in my opinion, a real victim will want justice not only monetarily, but actual justice for being shot. You won't want to take down whoever shot you, okay? If we're going to be honest about it. You stating that you're not going to help the police. Let me tell y'all. I don't know if y'all are aware. And I mean, you ain't got to have no law degree. Just look at other, especially entertainment cases. A lot of times they start off at, as criminally crim, ugh, criminal cases. And it, it helps out the civil case. So, I'm just not understanding. Like, that just was real weird to me. You want sympathy, and I'm not saying you're asking for it, because you did get shot. However, to put that statement that way, I just felt like that should have, you know, you should have had a team in place before you started taking interviews, right? Where they could have told you not to say no stupid ass shit like that, or at least had the um, decency to uh, request that to be edited out, okay? Now, I don't know what hood educated as in events, what their guidelines was. I know for sure when I did my interview with Alonzo before we even started recording, I asked, hey, is there anything we can't talk about? He said, nah, I'm an open book. Bam. So we have free range to talk about everything. You get what I'm saying? But he also is not stating that he's trying to sue nobody. He just wants his money for his part. Okay. But when you're talking about suing and Oh, they did it. They did it. They did it. You already like how I just don't understand. How do you know they did it? How do you know who it was? You was fighting. Then you got shot and you looked the days out on the ground. So it's like, how did you see all this? I don't understand that part, but it's not for me to understand. It's for the legal system to understand. Just my little side note, y'all. Stop saying you a real street nigga. Like, stop it. Stop it. You're on, a ca you're on camera talking right there. Just don't say that. Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. That's between you and the streets. Leave it alone. That's between you and your neighborhood. Don't add it to no damn 
recorded interview. Like, because that's about to discredit everything. Because now I'm not looking at you, looking at you as a civilian. I'm looking at you as a real street nigga. So I'm like, what this real street nigga on here doing? Taking an interview, talking about a act of open shooting. Okay. So just a little FYI for Mickey True. Let's not do that no more. Okay. Now, a couple more questions. It then said, um, was any of the money recovered? And I have not been able to actually confirm it from the finesse side. However, Alonzo stated he has not been paid as of our interview. It also states, if anyone knows the identity of the girl that was shot, according to Alonzo, it was two girls that were shot. I have not found their identity. Um, also it said, who is Finesse's manager? Because it's being alleged that Finesse didn't have clearance from Mob Ties to do this show. I can't confirm or deny that. I have no idea, um, what his, um, contract is with Mob Ties. However, I can say, hey, he did the show. It was his event, you know? So, with that, y'all, those were the questions that came up from people that were watching my live and watching other people's, um, what, content on this. So, that's what I got. Now, if anything comes up, like I said, I did reach out to DJ Exclusive. Don't know if he can talk about the situation. If he can and he agrees to interview, I definitely would let y'all know. Any new details from this situation, I will let y'all know. I do have some changes coming up um to the structure of how i do things and i will be dropping them soon so for now i'm gonna say holla at your girl good reporting ass mickey I made it we love you mickey